Hey, Dave and Kez, I just wanted to give you a quick video. Um, thank you for including me in this interesting discussion. Uh, as I see it, there is a kind of complexity in the uh, free, free and open source world when it comes to uh, responsibility. Maybe something that we haven't really grappled with as a community yet. But there is a distinction between a contributor and a leader. So, Dave, when you say that uh, a, de a fast developer has no obligation to do anything, that's definitely true, but there is also the fact that you kind of do have an obligation to uh, your community and its infrastructure when you operate a project and when you become a leader. And, uh, and that's hard, right, because most people are not trained to do that. And, um, you know, it's it's something that as a culture we need to develop further, this this concept that, um, you know, operating a project as a single in individual is fair enough. Uh, having a collaboration between you and like three other people is probably easy. That's not going to be too much of a difficulty. But when you start to get to 100 contributors, when you start to get to millions of users, there is a um, kind of responsibility that's necessary in order to have leadership right not just for organizational sakes but just for, for stakes and for, for conflict resolution because they're bound to come up and um and none of those things are going to be paid in a purely volunteer project things like inkscape for example um and so what do you what do you do right do you take responsibility and do the job uh unpaid somehow find a way to get paid maybe uh, donations um or do you reject the responsibility completely and have your community kind of become toxic I mean, it might or not but it might um, or just um, you know not pay attention to the details uh, things like user experience is a detail if you have only enlightened self-interest then what you're really doing is you're saying that all of the easy routes into the project the infrastructural things that are already there that help contributors contribute to the project those are the kinds of people that you'll end up um, inviting and cultivating within the project. As a leader, you, you kind of know that. You, you know, if you pay attention to the Git repository a lot, you're going to cultivate developers. If you pay attention to other infrastructure, uh, social media, for example, you're going to cultivate more, more of a user culture. And, uh, and those different populations will have different ideas. And the skill, really, I think, as a community uh, manager and leader is to be able to um, cultivate different uh perspectives inside the project inside the same project and for them to be integrated right so not separated not siloed but able to talk to each other and kind of understand the pressures and the, the limitations that are between each of the different groups or teams or whatever you want to call, call them um, it's kind of a difficult problem right because um, you also have into this mix things like corporations which can step in with their size nines and really cause disruption right you have entire uh, differences in mentality that happen when you have a corporation that in, hires a whole bunch of people for a project. And uh, what do you do about that as a culture? Is the leadership hired by the corporation, etc.? So, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot more to talk about on this issue. But it's definitely worth keeping in mind that if you, if you want a positive project like Inkscape that invites users in to participate, to contribute money, to contribute time, to contribute whatever... Uh, it, the, there has to be the leadership there to create the social infrastructure for that pathway for contribution, right? It's no good as telling users that it's it's their fault for not having the skills or the necessaries to be able to contribute changes into the project. Um, it's kind of our it's also our responsibility to make sure that we have roots into projects that help users become a part of the solution to making the free software project what they need uh, and anyway thank you for listening to me rattle on about some stuff and i apologize for the accent because uh, i'm not sure everybody can understand it to be honest and uh, i hope you're having a good night